Hey people, John here from Fast Films, and today we're going to go through a 2017 horror thriller movie called Hounds of Love. The premiering scene shows a scraggly looking man and woman staring lovingly at a bunch of teenage girls playing on the school court. They leave shortly afterward and give a young girl a ride to her home. Elsewhere, Vicky Maloney, a normal teenager, kisses her boyfriend goodbye as she leaves his house for school. At that instant, John and Evelyn White, the creeps checking out girls playing earlier, are seen sleeping soundly all while having someone trapped in a well-hidden room. Evelyn wakes up, takes the dog for a walk, and prepares breakfast for her husband, John, who comes to eat a while later. After school that day, Vicky walks to her dad's place. She greets him warmly and receives the gift he bought her, a dog. Meanwhile, Evelyn and John go about their normal daily activities. Evelyn cleans up bloodstained tissues from their hidden room and leaves their victim to John to take advantage of. Evelyn sleeps in her room as she hears the teenage girl's screams. After the horrific act, John goes on a trip to the woods to dig the girl's grave. After their meeting that evening, Trevor, Vicky's father, drives his daughter to his recently separated wife. Vicky gets out, witnesses her mother argue with her father who just wants things back to normal. By dinner time, Maggie, Vicky's mother, tries talking to her daughter who just turns a blind eye to her pleas. Apparently, Vicky was annoyed at her mother for breaking up with her dad all because she wanted to be an independent woman. Things don't go well for the duo that night as Maggie forbids Vicky from going to a party that night. Vicky sneaks out of the house like every normal teenager and meets two familiar people on the streets offering her a ride. At first, Vicky refuses the ride, but John and Evelyn's persuasive powers coerce her into getting in their car. The cynic duo drives Vicky to their own house, assuring her she'd be able to get unlimited blunts there. Little did Vicky know how horrific it was about to get for her. Upon getting to the duo's house, Vicky gets invited in and is served a suspicious glass of clear alcohol. Nonchalant, Vicky takes a sip and passes out later on. Before she falls to the ground, the duo tie her up at the bedpost. Her screams are quickly silenced as she was gagged and forced to watch John and his wife do the bed thingy right in front of her. The next day, Maggie notices her daughter absence as she paints a room in the house. Maggie calls her ex-husband and informs him Vicky could be out at her boyfriend's place. Trevor promises to check on her and they both end the call on a good note. In the meantime, Evelyn prepares John some breakfast as usual. When John comes to eat, he checks out some old photos which Evelyn seemed to resent. After breakfast that day, John checks on Vicky, who peed on herself. Evelyn cleans her up and gives her some food and water. Vicky tries to escape the room but is stopped in her tracks by Evelyn. Vicky tells Evelyn her father was rich. However, Evelyn tells her they know about her parents' separation and that they are not willing to let her go. Evelyn leaves and returns when she finds Vicky trying to release herself. Moments later, Vicky takes a bath. John steps out for a bit and gets harassed by his substance dealers to pay up his debt. A few hours later, Evelyn coerces Vicky into writing a letter to her mother, telling her she's ran away from the house to a nearby town to become an independent woman. Vicky reluctantly writes a letter and gives it to Evelyn so she could mail it to her mother's residence. Vicky takes a bathroom break and meets John on the way. John escorts her into the bathroom and locks it. Already aware of what's going to transpire behind those doors, Evelyn goes to smoke some blunts. A few minutes later, she gets fed up and knocks on the bathroom door. Admits their act, Vicky tries to escape the house. Unfortunately for her, the family dog stops her from getting out and she hides in the tub. Hearing the dog barking, John finds the bathroom empty and starts searching for Vicky alongside his wife. Vicky screams out so loud that John and Evelyn's next door neighbor hears and comes to check up on them. As they tie the poor girl to the bed stand, they hear a knock on the door from their neighbor. Evelyn goes to answer the annoyed neighbor while John holds Vicky down. She chases the neighbor out the front door and returns to her husband and Vicky. Getting there, they tie up the poor girl in chains this time and leave. John and Evelyn get a moment where Evelyn confesses her love for John multiple times. In the next scene, Trevor and Maggie argue with the police about their daughter's disappearance. The detective wasn't really buying the whole abduction story as they kept telling Maggie that her daughter's disappearance could be due to the effect of the separation. When the duo get home, Trevor and Maggie find the letter Evelyn put in their mailbox while they were out. Maggie reads the letter and finds something wrong with the letter. Following the letter's discovery, they both get into an argument that doesn't end well. Later that evening, John gets to have his way with poor Vicky. Admits the vile act, disgusted John, stops the act and cleans himself up. Evelyn, who was out, makes a call to her ex-husband, asking him for custody of the kids. Mick, her ex-husband, denies her access to the kids. 
This leaves Evelyn in a fit of rage as she storms home. When she gets home, John quickly cleans himself and hides any evidence of his vile act to Vicky. Evelyn walks inside, sees Vicky's clothes on the floor, and immediately figures out what was up. She gets herself some water and unchains Vicky. Vicky puts on her clothes and tells Evelyn about John's act. Evelyn thinks things through, cleans herself up, and puts on some makeup. She walks over to John and threatens to end her own life if John doesn't terminate Vicky. John doesn't give in to her demands, as he even encourages her to end her life. Evelyn refuses to do so and just cries instead. Later that evening, Evelyn begs John to get rid of Vicky that instant. However, John tells her he plans on making the most out of the poor girl before terminating her. He also mentions he'd terminate her very soon and that he loves only her and not anybody else. After his speech, he gets down to violating Vicky. In the next scene, Evelyn is seen enjoying her time. In the meantime, John gets himself to a secluded bush and digs Vicky's grave. Evelyn dances sultrily as she rejoices over John's affirmation of his love for her. After her mini party, she gets to Vicky and teases the poor girl for disobeying her mother and getting abducted. Moments later, Evelyn bathes Vicky. Elsewhere, Trevor, Maggie, and Vicky's boyfriend decipher the hidden message Vicky infused into the letter Evelyn delivered. Apparently, Vicky meticulously infused John and Evelyn's address into the letter. When they decipher the message, they hit the road. Back at John and Evelyn's, Vicky is put to bed by John's cynical wife. While she does, John arrives from his outing and sees dog poop on the floor. He gets angry and starts harming the dog. Evelyn rushes to stop him from killing the dog. However, John pushes her away and finishes off the dog. When the deed's been done, Evelyn breaks down over the death of her dog. John, on the other hand, feels no remorse for doing the dastardly act. Later on, he covers the deceased dog and locks it in the trunk. Before getting out of the house, he gets back to the depressed Evelyn and tries to comfort her. He then tells Evelyn that they'd be getting rid of Vicky very soon, as per her wishes. Evelyn stares back at him and holds his hands, thinking about her for once. John then tells her to convince Vicky into writing another letter. Evelyn gets down to it and brings Vicky out of the room she was in. She explains to Vicky that she has to write another letter to her mother telling her she'd be out of their lives forever since she's now gotten a new job in the new town she was staying in. Unknown to both of them, Vicky's parents and boyfriend were already on their way to John and Evelyn's. Evelyn talks Vicky into taking a weird substance and writing the letter. Almost at that instant, Maggie and her people arrive at the residence near John and Evelyn's and knock on the door, profusely. Simultaneously, John gets a visit from his dealer asking him for his payment. John gets back inside to get his dealer's money. Across the street, Maggie could be heard begging a grandma to release her daughter. Apparently, Maggie and her husband were able to trace the address to the correct neighborhood, but not the correct house as John and Evelyn's house was opposite the house she knocked on. While she shouts her daughter's name, John and his dealer observe the ruckus across the street. Vicky and Evelyn also hear Maggie's voice. However, Vicky was unable to respond as she was held at knife point by Evelyn. John comes in afterward and pulls the curtain down. He asks Evelyn why Vicky's parents are so close. Evelyn ignores him and proceeds with the plan to force Vicky into taking the pills. Vicky refuses to do that. This gets John enraged as he slams Vicky on the ground and starts choking her. Evelyn instead harms her husband multiple times and finishes him off with a look of betrayal on his face. Vicky takes advantage of this and quickly jumps out of the house through the bathroom window. She comes face to face with Evelyn, who just lets her go. Maggie and her family were already on their way back home when they passed by John and Evelyn's house. Vicky walks through the street calling her parents' names. Luckily for her, Maggie stops when she sees her daughter and is reunited with her baby girl one more time. The movie ends with a tight hug between mother and daughter as they vow never to leave each other's side anymore. Thanks for watching, guys.